Hey guys, this is Arsenal Giants PS3. Welcome to Transfer Talk for the 31st of July. Now, we're coming towards that August uh, period now. The transfers are starting to hot up. Uh, clubs always want their players for the first couple of games of the season. Uh, they want them to gel and we have got some pretty damn exciting exciting news here so far. Now, this first one is on the verge of becoming official. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, it all depends on the personal... Um, the personal agreements between the two clubs but apparently Taiwu uh, from AC Milan and who was on loan at QPR last season has agreed a move to go on loan to Dynamo Kiev in the Ukraine now that would be a backward step I'd say for Taiwo did well at Marseille was poor at QPR and has just had such a tough start at AC Milan and to go to Kiev um, who I think they start off in the Champions League and then kind of always end up in the Europa would be a bit of a step back I'd say for Taiwu uh, but maybe if he got that experience I think it'd be a pardon me a relatively good move for him he is a very uh, good player with potential and he definitely has the, the opportunity to become a big player I think he just needs to kind of work on his um, work on his consistency and uh, maybe you know going to the Ukrainian League it's very physical there will uh, bolster his uh, defensive ability so that would be a pretty good move I'd say and that one it comes courtesy of various sources but the main one is one you guys all hate uh, it is goal.com but I think that one is on the verge of becoming official so don't hate me for too long the next one is a pretty damn erratic and crazy uh, transfer rumor and I always like to include one of those it is that Theo Walcott um, is could be on his way back to Southampton now I say could very liberally um, there is not much um, not much point in that way but apparently according to the Sunday Mirror um, Southampton are interested in bringing Walcott back uh, I doubt that would be permanent um, it would be alone at best and I can't see why he'd go on alone there um, but you know I do like to include the crazy one I don't, it would be a horrible step back for him I don't mean that harshly on Southampton they're a good club um, but you know, he'd probably lose any chance of getting an England team because you need Champions League experience, I guess, to be up there. And Arsenal do have that, and unfortunately Southampton don't. Um, I just can't see that one becoming a reality, unfortunately. But I do like to include yeah, include the slightly crazy ones, um, and uh, hence that one was in there. That one came courtesy, as I said, of the Sunday Mirror. So a relatively reliable source, I'd say. But, you know, this one, I think this is just a paper talk. Uh, number three comes courtesy of, where is it, uh, the Daily Mail, so uh, relatively, relatively um, reliable I'd say, and it's that Victor Moses uh, from Wigan is to, um, is the subject of a £7.5 million offer from Chelsea. Now, there's been a lot of stories about him, uh, Moses and Chelsea, and uh, I, can, it, I can only say it's a bad move for him. Obviously, he's going to get a bigger wage in that. Um, and obviously he's going to maybe you know get in the England team but it's just you know when you go somewhere like um, Chelsea normally that like you're going to it's going to be tough getting to the starting lineup you know going from Wigan to Chelsea is um, a tough a tough move um, for anyone and um, when you look at players that have gone to bigger clubs uh, notably Chelsea uh, who can we look back on uh, Damien Duff had a tough time when he went there from Blackburn I do believe a couple of years ago uh, actually ages ago um, I'm trying to think of his name but oh Sean Wright Phillips that's the perfect example uh, a very good winger went to Chelsea in 2006 and just went down um, went down the shitter really obviously he's now at QPR and that's not you know the full length spectrum of the shitter but his career took a poor path I'd say when he went to Chelsea I can't see this being a good move especially especially if they've signed so many attacking players I just can't see him getting a run out and um, it would be a shame because Victor Moses has the ability um, as we saw at Crystal Palace and at the later stages of last season at Wigan, uh, yeah, Wigan um, he has the ability to become an England international and uh, I think it would just be sad to see him waste that talent uh, number four comes courtesy of um, loads of places actually including BBC Sport again this is one which is almost official but not quite because it all rides on the personal agreements or terms between the players but it's that Andy Carroll uh, will go on loan next season to West Ham West Ham uh, for two million uh, in a two million pound loan deal um, so they're given two million to secure his services which I think is fair enough considering he costs Liverpool 35 and then um, they can t make that permanent for 17 million at the end of the season if West Ham don't get relegated now 
Again, as I say, this one isn't official yet, purely because Andy Carroll apparently, you know, he doesn't want to go, and uh, I can't blame him. Now, I've got nothing against West Ham. They are a very good club, and um, they're quite, in, you know, they've got very good atmosphere, but Andy Carroll has Europa football lined up. He's not a bad player as of late. He has definitely had promise, and he was brilliant in Newcastle. He was absolutely superb. Uh, and you know he was part of the reason they got back in the Premier League he just needs to find his feet and he was just doing that for uh, Liverpool you saw um, in the FA Cup final and even in the Euros he looked he looked like he had that goal scoring swag about him I don't want to say swag that's a horrible turn of phrase uh, but he had that goal scoring ability about him and I think it would just be such a shame to see him um, almost put back a couple of steps in his career uh, West Ham I don't think would be the right move for him and plus they've got players like Zazte already who, you know, you want to rely on those championship championship strikers. I think it's hard when you get promoted and then you just take um, random, uh, you know, bring a new striker in. You need to try and focus on your current strikers and I think that would be a bad move for all involved really. I think if he's going to go anywhere, Andy Carroll should go to Newcastle, take the hate he got for leaving and um, get on with his career. And uh, I think he could definitely be a very good England player in a couple of years. Our final one comes courtesy of what where was it came courtesy of? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, uh, it came courtesy of the Daily Star. So a pretty damn shit newspaper. That the Daily Star for anyone who doesn't live in England is basically just a paper which has tits on the front uh, and then sports rooms in the middle. Um, but again, it's a pretty crazy um, a crazy rumor. So I'll uh, I'll read it out to you. Uh, apparently. Daniel Agger is subject of a £30 million bid from Manchester City. I held my nose then, <laughs> it sounded kind of weird. Um, scratch my nose. Uh, yeah, the courtesy of a bid from Manchester City for £13 million. Now, that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, not the price. Agger is a very good player, but it's ridiculous that Man City would, would want him. I just think that's... I don't think Liverpool would let him go. He's a very good player. I just cannot see him going, but he's one of those players that maybe if the salary was right... Um, if the money, you know, a £17 million bid, would Liverpool be able to reject that? Uh, 16, 17, not 13, but a bit higher. Would they be able to reject that for a player who is, he's not really getting on, but a player where they could perhaps get a better player in? You know, it's a new manager. There's not, the ties are going to be relatively weak. I just think it could be dangerous for Liverpool fans. I can't see him leaving personally, but there are the, there's, almost the motive there for him to go so that is um that's our final rumor uh, again that was uh courtesy of the daily star and um yeah thus concludes our rumors for today some pretty crazy ones some pretty some pretty decent transfers and um some relatively uh relatively exciting ones i'll use that uh i'll choose my words carefully there uh but thanks guys for watching i'm sorry these aren't 90 seconds anymore i just felt i didn't get enough time to go into how i felt about them and you know what I thought about them and the details and stuff so thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Transfer Talk